Lothar, the claim is made by some that quantum physics can help us understand this unique aspect of our sentient existence that we call consciousness, the inner feeling of what it feels like to experience things. Uh, your red sweater, I, it has a, such a rich, powerful impact. Thank you. <laughs> that, that I'm experiencing. And how do, we, how do we do that with brain cells and electrical and sparks and chemistry? Is, is nothing to do with the, my feeling of a red sweater. Some people say quantum physics can make that jump. Do you agree with that? Um, no. I think there are phenomena you cannot explain in a mechanical way. It, to try to use quantum physics in that context, it's still the ancient mindset of trying to explain everything in, in a mechanical, mechanistic way, you know what I mean? Say, you have A and B, and then you have C is consciousness. Um, I think that consciousness is basically an unexplainable cosmic phenomenon. If the universe is conscious, then it is not amazing that it, it emerges in our mind, in, in our own consciousness. No, I agree with that, but that, that's a, that, that says, like, if my shoe was, was made out of diamonds, I'd be a rich person. Uh, but my shoe is not made out of diamonds. Uh, we'll discuss that question later. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but... I, I agree with you. If the universe is conscious, if you would say that, then, then that's a natural explanation, but... In a way, it is not, because that is like a question we discussed earlier. Do you know details about the non-empirical world? No, we, we don't know details. Um, there are two schools of thinking. Some say consciousness is created by the chemistry of the, of the nerve cells. Right. And others say, no, it resides outside of the brain. But it, it can affect the brain. I would prefer this version this possibility than thinking it's made by our brain. And perhaps there are many phenomena like synchronicity. Okay, so is that maybe synchronicity is not a real effect, but um, the, the appearance of the same forms in our mind, the, its creativity, it could very well be a phenomenon that cannot be explained. It is, it is a basic, in, it's, it's the basis of something you cannot further explain it. That's a fair comment because some I would, quantum physicists would, would say that in order to understand consciousness you need to, under, you need to apply quantum physics in terms of its various characteristics of, uh, of uh, uh, a complementarity of a wave and particle and non-locality or entanglement, d different kinds of, you need these concepts to explain. Yes, but when you explain it, that doesn't mean you have derived its source or where it is coming from or its basis. You, you can explain some of its properties, but not where it is coming from. It is like there is a part of the world we cannot explain. For scientists, it's a horrible thing to say, you know, arrest that guy. We can explain everything. No, there is a part we cannot explain as a matter of principle because it is non-empirical. And you're not saying can't explain it now because we don't have the best tools or we're not as smart. Right. You're saying in principle forever and ever and yes, ever. Yes, I'm willing to Forever and ever yeah. and ever. It's, you know, it may be dangerous to say forever, ever, ever, but no, we cannot, exp we will not explain it at the current level, ever. Well, you qualified at the current level. It's a, well, if, if someday we become godlike, then we will know. But it will be a long time. It will <laughs> well, not be next me. year. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you'll be sooner than I will. That's, I would accept that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so there are things that are the basis. Also, you cannot explain anymore why do particles enter a wave, a realm of waves. You can't. 
That's, and you cannot explain what is happening in these. And in the same way, you cannot do consciousness, I think. So therefore, both are very fundamental, and, and maybe what you're saying is that the elements of quantum physics, the non-materiality, the, uh, uh, the, the, the non-empirical nature of it, the, the mind-like yeah. quality, are si similar to aspects of consciousness, but they're, they're not causative of it, because maybe they're both related to, to, to other things that we can't explore. There are questions we cannot answer. Some are very simple. You, you could say, why is there a world? We can say that there is one and what its properties are. We cannot say why it is. You might find a mechanism and say, well, this and this happened, but you always come to a level where you can no more say, why is it? It's the yeah, same and, sort of question. And your question. point is that consciousness is that kind of an entity. Yeah. Many that people basic. don't agree with that. Many well, people, neuroscientists are almost uh, uh, entirely would say that we, we are explaining it and we will ultimately fully explain it. Yes, um, we will ultimately fully explain it and someday we will all be rich, said the communists. <laughs> you know, and so the scientists say someday we know everything, but not today. And at that time, I think there will still be a, a basis that we cannot explain in what we think is explaining something mechanical, uh, causal, and so on. So my view is that consciousness, it's such a basic phenomenon that we cannot explain it. And also quantum physics doesn't explain everything. I believe it will never explain what consciousness is.